he gets cheers at his party conference. Outside this room, he's as controversial as ever. British Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn giving a landmark speech in Liverpool Wednesday. Economic policy was a focus. So was Brexit. But the Labour anti-Semitism scandal very much made an appearance. The row over anti-Semitism has caused immense hurt and anxiety in the Jewish community and great dismay in the Labour Party. But I hope and believe we can work together to draw a line under it. I say this to all in the Jewish community. This party, this movement, will always be implacable campaigners against anti-Semitism and racism in all its forms. We are your allies. It was a key moment in the ongoing scandal, followed by a long-standing ovation, even if many may feel it's not enough. He is just giving the usual general nice words about him being against anti-Semitism. This is more of the same. He is doing exactly the same thing. He's speaking in generalities about being in solidarity with Jewish people. Many labor activists and their leader identify themselves with the Palestinian cause. Tuesday, the party passed a motion supporting a ban on arms sales to Israel. In his speech Wednesday, Jeremy Corbyn picked up the baton. Our party is united in condemning the shooting of hundreds of unarmed demonstrators in Gaza by Israeli forces and the passing of Israel's discriminatory nation-state law. And in order to help make that two-state settlement a reality, we will recognize a Palestinian state as soon as we take office. Are Israelis and Palestinians fully paying attention? It could matter on both sides of the divide. Jeremy Corbyn really, truly might be the next British Prime Minister. Thank you. The Labour Party is still neck and neck in the polls with the ruling Conservatives. Thank you. Theresa May's government has cracks in it. Early elections are possible. Jeremy Corbyn could move into 10 Downing Street, a scenario that would matter for Israel and the Middle East a great deal. Owen Alterman, I-24 News.